Alrighty. Hi, y'all. Today, I wanted to share a story um, and to just really talk about how much my life has changed in the past two years. And believing in myself changed everything for me. It changed my entire reality and the way that I'm living now I'm I have nothing but gratitude nothing but love and appreciation for not just myself but the souls that I have in my life right now and to even be able to be grateful for everything that I have because where I'm coming from I did not have an not even an ounce of gratitude <laughs> not even an ounce for gratitude and I want to share this story because I feel like so many of us are walking around upset at the smallest things in life and waking up is a blessing in itself. Not everybody gets to, not everybody's living long like our grandparents used to, like people are dying at young ages due to stress, due to sadness, due to depression, anxiety, so many different things. And, um, but yeah, uh, I just wanted to talk about just how everything shifted for me in my life when I decided to actually choose myself and you know I dated a lot of narcissistic men <laughs> a lot of narcissistic women a lot of narcissistic people um and when I finally decided that I'd rather be alone than to date anyone that doesn't value me or can't see me for who I am I completely let go and just decided that I didn't want anything. I just didn't want to be around people. I didn't want, I just didn't want a relationship. And before that, prior to, I spent two years devoting myself to finding the one. Um, because I didn't want to love me, so I just wanted someone else to take on my bullshit, come save me. You know, the, the whole, the whole thing. And I decided that, you know what, I'd rather be alone than to be with anyone of this type. And then I met my soulmate later on and it was one of it was the catalyst to my spiritual awakening because my first spiritual awakening because i was like what are the odds like i completely give up and i just like you know i'm just like i'd rather be alone and i stop searching for it and then it finds me you know after that synchronicities were everywhere like god was making his presence known and i am a believer that god is within all of us i do not think it's just this person in the sky sitting in a chair <laughs> but everybody has their own beliefs um he made his presence very unknown um Every, after that, I just kept seeing signs after signs after signs. So I just delved deeper and deeper into healing me because I realized that there was a reason why I kept choosing these types of people. And it's not it's not just about pointing the blame or looking for the blame. Uh, it's who to who to blame. Um, so I had originally got a malacite crystal, and y'all, that crystal ate my ass up. The minute I put that crystal on. I cried for hours and hours and hours. And prior to, guys, I was the type of person that would schedule my cries because I was like, you know, I'm a, I'm a very busy woman. <laughs> Please. Oh, I'm a very busy woman. Um, as ridiculous as it sound, I just thought crying was weak was weakness, you know. Um, this is all things you learn growing up. But anyway, um, so after that, I was like, why am I crying? And it made me realize that I had a lot more wounds than I thought I did and I spent my entire life gaslighting myself about like my trauma like it's not that serious it's not that serious um that didn't mean that the pain wasn't there it just it just allowed me to cope through life by scheduling my cries like, oh, that didn't even make it like now I can laugh about it because it's just like now I cry if I want to cry it, it, and it's, it's freeing because I no longer have the belief that crying is weakness and that belief in itself keeps me from being vulnerable it keeps me from being open and being truly myself so it was just me putting myself in a cage you know um but anyway like i just i just want to say like guys when you shift your mindset and always put yourself first always put yourself first it will lead you to the life of your dreams and i'm saying that because i'm living it right now i'm breathing it i'm living it and it is the best thing in the world because now i don't need anyone to complete me and before like there was this sense of like worry anxiety if i put my like heart on the line for this person 
but and then it didn't work out i would be crushed devastated you know and then i just kept moving on looking for the next person but it didn't it didn't actually fix what was actually going on internal and one thing i realized is like guys there was this point in my life where i really wanted to go to the gym right I, i'm depression anxiety eating me up but i wanted to work out and i would i would try i put on the outfits i take the before pictures and then i realized that every time i took a before picture I just kept consecutively getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, but I was not actually getting to the gym. Um, and I realized that when we try things, it's not because we don't fail at them because we don't, we can't do it. It's because there's something internally there and working on yourself internally will bring things into your 3d reality. It's always starts with the spiritual realm first. Like we always see the 3d realm, this materialistic world as like, okay, like I'm going to work out because I want this aesthetic body, but you need to fix all the things inside of you that think that you're not deserving of a healthy lifestyle because it's not about aesthetics. It's about your mental. If your mental is not there, you will not be consistent in anything you try, nothing you try. So you can watch and, and consume as a consume a bunch of um glow up videos how to get how to get a fat ass but in 30 days it could do all of that and still it will not work i'm seeing an orange cat oh he's so cute he's so cute how are you so chunky and he on the streets my boy's fed um so you can consume a bunch of content and it won't make a difference in your life unless you sit with yourself like it's all about you it's all this world it revolves around you all the things that trigger you it's all from your subconscious mind you attract those type of people because you have those beliefs already in you so it's really just about sitting with yourself working with what it is that's going on I'm, i promise you baby when you work with shadow do your shadow work there isn't anything in this world you can't have and there was there isn't going to be anything in this world you believe you cannot have it all starts with our belief system. So if you believe that you can't have something, that is exactly what, what's going to happen. But if you believe that you can do it, then that's just that. If I told myself two years ago, I would be in the gym, living, living a healthy lifestyle with, with the love of my life, have a better relationship with my mom, <clears throat> just have a healthy, healthy family, love all around, I would not believe myself. I would not believe myself and it started with me it started with me internally because even if you 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 pray and you hope that certain people will change in your life you will not be in the mindset to receive it if you do not feel like you deserve love you will push it away you will find a way to reaffirm that people aren't good to you it doesn't even matter what they do but you react differently when you're coming from a place where you're securing yourself where you love yourself and you know that at the end of the day you are good by yourself regardless because then you have true genuine love in your life you're not codependent on someone else's love which is not even real love it's just like an illusion that you've created for fake safety but i just want to say guys like this past year and a half this just this whole journey that i've walked spiritually mentally physically there's just so many different changes within me now and i'm a completely different person because i chose to love myself I chose to believe in myself and you can make that choice too it is all a choice and i'm realizing that when we decide that we don't want to choose better for ourselves it's because we're holding on to a story that's familiar it's hard to let it go i get it like when i was shedding my past self guys oh okay i was rocking, rocking back and forth in a ball crying <laughs> rocking back and forth in a ball crying so i will never sit up here and tell you guys that it's easy it's not easy if it was easy everybody would do it but you have to know that you are worthy of it. And I know if I'm, if you're seeing this video, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm manifesting that it reaches the people who truly need just a word to believe in themselves right now. That have the strength to be, to be able to just believe in themselves right now. It takes strength and I know that. It takes a lot of strength. But I promise you, when you stick through that shit, even when you stick through the bullshit, it gets better. <laughs> and the day will come where you're just like, shit. I'm living the, I'm living my dream. And I think I, I I honestly wish that everybody could live that and I know it's not realistic to think that because I'm also like a realist as much as I'm like into the spiritual world not everybody will. Not everybody was meant to. But people come into our lives to teach us in what parts that need love. What parts of us need love. And that's why when we forgive 
other people, it's also forgiving ourselves because we didn't know any better. We're operating out of fear, out of lack, out of whatever limited mindset that you're in right now, whatever. So you can't fault yourself for that. All we need is love. And I really, I, the way that you talk to yourself, the way that you show up to, for yourself, your inner child, I promise you guys, sitting with your inner child, like when I meditate and I sit with my inner child, the amount of stuff she tells me that I need, that I work on and I listen to and just, I, I give her hugs, especially when we're going through deep shadow work and it's rough. And she has led me to my joy. She has led me to what makes me happy. She had, she has, she had taught, has taught me so much about myself that I would never have learned if I did not choose to believe in myself, if I did not choose to love myself. This collective that's watching this video, you are so worthy of love. You give love so easily to everybody else and you're waiting for someone to come and save you and I promise you no one's coming. I waited. I was outside with a picket sign and no one came. It wasn't until I decided to make better choices, choose better people, choose better for me, that my life shifted. And you have that power too. And I know it's not easy. You know, you're fighting against all these belief systems you have. You're fighting against all the ancestral trauma that you also have. It's, it's a lot that goes into it. But you have to know that you are worthy of the life that you've always de you've always desired, and it's out there. It's in the quantum quantum realm, looking for you, like it's waiting for you. All you have to do is just do that inner work. It's all it all starts internal before you can even reap any rewards, okay? And I promise you guys, <sighs> believing in yourself, choosing you, is nothing like it. I let, I, the minute I decide to let go of people pleasing, you can't you can't buy this type of peace. You can't buy this type of peace. No matter what you do, you can't pe you cannot please everybody. You are not meant for everybody. And when you start to accept that, the people who are meant for you, it just it's easy. It's it's just like breathing. Like even when I think about my soulmate, like my my boyfriend, like when we communicate, it is just. It's just that simple. And social media and the way that things are portrayed in the media now, it, it, it makes you believe that things have to be hard for you to either achieve su success or um, be in a relationship. That is all false. That is all false. What's meant for you, it is as easy as breathing. It is as easy as breathing. But you have to know that you are worthy of it to even be in the frequency of it. Okay? So yeah i hope this video <laughs> i hope this video made sense but i just really wanted to come on here and talk about just believing in yourself it will change your life completely and i'm currently living in that right now and i send myself my past self so much love because baby she been through it <laughs> she been through it but i need i needed to go through it to, in order to rise up that phoenix rising i i needed to go through it to rise up so very grateful for the lessons and always know that things are working for you they're not working against you once you sh once you shift your mindset to things are always working out for me things are here to teach me whatever lessons they're here to teach you just accept the lesson learn the lesson release it with love no resentment no none of those things that keeps you attached to that frequency it keeps you attached to that situation now your mind is all ruminating on that and you have no focus on yourself you will have the life of your dreams if you simply focus on you if you simply put you first if you simply love on you boundaries baby boundaries i don't know who that's for but boundaries but yeah those are my messages guys thank you for tuning in um yes sending you guys love don't forget that you're worth it you're worth it you are absolutely worth it and the street light just flipped on as soon as i said that you are worth it all right bye